quick comment on the game? Um, I'm glad we won. That was that was good. Uh, we it was made it a little exciting at the end. Apparently, we haven't really discussed press breaker with our post players leading the charge. So, uh, just a moment of letting our guard down and turning it over. But luckily, we had enough of a cushion uh, because Kim Demings is that scary that she can come back and hit 15 in a row in you know a minute. Luckily, the clock ran out. So, uh, but overall, just really pleased with our efforts. Um, you know, did a good job uh, in Demings in the first half and, and Molly Fox and just really uh, put the ball where we wanted to put it uh, in the post and Sharita was able to make plays and when they double and triple teamed her, uh, we were able to make shots when we needed to. So that uh, that about sums it up. What was the difference between this game and the last time you guys played right seeing give up maybe one point? Um, you know, we, we guarded uh, the high ball screen a little bit differently. We um, came off of Sandifer and not doubled, but hedged out so that she couldn't turn the corner. That was our goal. She cannot turn the corner or we are just dead meat. We're dead meat. So Megan Hatter stepped out there, stopped her until she either gave it up or she shot over them. Um, so I think that was that was a lot of the a lot of the difference going into this game. And we also got around in the post. We fronted in the beginning, and they weren't necessarily as able to throw it inside. Um, so they had to work a little bit to get the ball inside, but that that was it. Are you guys comfortable playing here all of a sudden at the Crest Center? I mean, 2-0 and this year, and uh, yeah. not, not doing too bad. Are you starting to get kind of comfortable playing here? I'm not sure. It, it's, it's a really nice place, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving ahead to Sunday, hypothetically, let's say UWGB kind of holds its home court here. Is this team really confident that you can do what you did just a couple weeks ago and, and knock the Phoenix off again? Um, I, I think that because they were able to do it before, why not? Why can't we do it again? That's just the way we have to, uh, to carry ourselves. And um, we just have to do what got us the win in the first place and not let the fact that it's for the Horizon League Championship and the trip to the NCAA tournament, because all that enters into it when it's all on the line, uh, you play a little bit differently. Hopefully we'll play for the better, but um, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where we have a plan in place. Obviously, Eichler will be back, so that'll be, um, that'll be an interesting um, addition back into the lineup, so uh, we'll just have to swing away. How, how do you plan if you can give anything away to attack you know, you, Are you going to do the same type of things you did last game or, or have some new wrinkles? I think we'd be crazy not to take a look at the tape and just see what worked for us and go back to it. And then if they have made adjustments, and then we'll have our counterattack. You mentioned Sarah. And in last game, you actually mentioned the fact that her not playing. You didn't really know how that had gone if she'd have been there. How much of a, a difference do you think she makes for, for UWGB? Well, you know, she's a really good defender. So um, and a lot of times she is matched up with Jaleesa, um, who's our primary ball handler, and has done a good job on her. So uh, when she, Jaleesa was out there and she was guarding her, I mean, she's just a little bit taller, so it makes things a little bit different, but not that Jaleesa can't handle that. It just was different. So if she's able to um, just have that confidence and, and, you know, whoever's playing, I mean, right now it's for all the marbles. So leave it on the floor, seniors, all those kinds of things. So uh, we just have to do whatever it takes to win. It looked like Jaleesa was going to be okay. I mean, she came back. Did she just get kind of hit in the ribs there? or She did. Uh, her teammate did not call the screen out, and she got leveled. So she was kind of upset about that. But uh, we were glad that she was able to come back in the game and finish it out. How exciting is this for the entire, I guess, program, both men's and women's? I mean, one went away from kind of a huge basketball situation. You guys kind of put more stock into trying to do this to kind of match what the men did? We're absolutely jealous. <laughs> We really are. Um, you know, we were able to be there because of the scheduling at Valpo and saw the tournament atmosphere and, uh, you know, then seeing our men win Tuesday night. I know all the girls got together and I know that they really were excited for them and said, hey, why can't we do that? So it's really inspired our team to play hard and to get where they are right now because there, there'd be nothing better for us to sit there on Monday and see where we're going. So I just think it's great for the university as a whole. If Green Bay does win tonight, is Sunday's game any more important to you just based on the fact that you've been here, you coached here, and now you, you could knock them off to get to that NCAA tournament? Is it going to be more, I guess, special or important to you? 
Well, you know, I just, it's all kind of surreal at this point. You know, we just have been plugging away and just been chipping away at every possession. And if Green Bay is the final person that we go up against who we've already beaten, I mean, I like our chances. I like our confidence. But, you know, I will be proud of our girls no matter what happens. It's up to them. It's been their team. They decide what they want to do in the second half to keep that lead. So, you know what? Have at it. So it's all about them. And I just said, you know what? We're just going to stay positive, stay together, and see, you know, and see what the results are, and you'll be pleased. I guarantee it.